Good morning, folks. It is Thursday morning, the 4th of March, and we come together now to do our Lent reading for this morning, which is from John chapter 6, and we're going to read verses 1 down to 21. So let's read them together. After this, Jesus crossed over to the far side of the Sea of Galilee, also known as the Sea of Tiberias. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went, because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. Jesus climbed a hill and sat down with his disciples around him. It was nearly time for the Jewish Passover celebration. Jesus soon saw a huge crowd of people coming to look for him. Turning to Philip, he asked, Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? He was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Philip replied, even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Then Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Tell everyone to sit down, Jesus said. So they all sat down in the grassy slopes. The men alone numbered about 5,000. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God and distributed them to the people. Afterwards, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, Now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. So they picked up the pieces and filled twelve baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves. When the people saw him do this miraculous sign, they exclaimed, Surely he is the prophet we have been expecting. When Jesus saw that they were ready to force him to be their king, he slipped away into the hills by himself. That evening, Jesus' disciples went down to the shore to wait for him. But as darkness fell and Jesus still hadn't come back, they got into the boat and headed across the lake towards Capernaum. Soon a gale swept down upon them and the sea grew very rough. They had rowed three or four miles when suddenly they saw Jesus walking on the water towards the boat. They were terrified. But he called out to them, don't be afraid, I am here. Then they were eager to let him in the boats and immediately they arrived at their destination. Amen. Those are two stories from John's Gospel, which I'm sure a lot of people know very well. The feeding of the 5,000, although that's only the number of men. There was a lot more than 5,000 people there, obviously. And then Jesus walking on water. When you read that, there's something interesting about the feeding. So they have five barley loaves, as they call them, and two fish. And one of the disciples, Andrew, says, what good's that? But then Jesus steps in. And after giving thanks for them to God and they distribute, it says they all ate as much as they wanted. And after everyone was full, um, Jesus told the disciples, now gather the left up so that nothing is wasted. And they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets of scraps. Now I'm sure those 12 baskets, well, maybe they went with the disciples and were used by the disciples. Maybe they were given to some people in the crowd and they took them away. But that nothing was wasted. But everyone had not just a little, but everyone had more so that they were completely filled and that's like the love of God we don't just get a little bit of God's love a little bit of his concern a little bit of his grace we get completely and totally covered and filled with his love his forgiveness and his grace more than what we need filled to overflowing as we would say because we have a God who is so generous and a God who just wants to give us so much. You know, this Lent time, maybe there are those who are struggling and you don't have what you really think that you need. But when it comes to God's love, you will always get what you need. You will always have enough. You'll always have more than enough. You know, it's also interesting as it goes on into the next, towards the end of that, 
that Jesus slipped away by himself, that people wanted to make him their king, it said. And he needed that time alone. And not even his disciples were with him. You could say that once again, Jesus was walking in the wilderness um, all by himself. And he needed that alone time with just him and his father just to give him refreshment, to give him a sense of gathering again his, his thoughts about what he'd be doing and just to know that he was doing his father's will. You know, we're quite often the same. We need that time alone. We need to have that precious time whenever we set aside and it's just us and God and there's no other distractions around us. There's nobody else asking for our time or our effort or, or our opinion or anything like that. I just we can enjoy that time with God. So let me encourage you today in the busyness of life just to carve out some time for you and God. Let's come and talk to God right now as we pray together. Let's pray. Father, thank you again for another lovely day. It is lovely and it's wonderful what you have given to us. And Lord, we are so blessed by you. Lord, help us this day to please just do that, to find some time to spend with you, just to have that alone time with you, so that we can talk to you, so we can, we can tell you what's on our hearts, so we can thank you just so that we can know your presence with us, know your hand upon us, and know that we are never alone. Father, whatever we are doing today, please keep us safe, guide us and direct us, and bless us, we pray, so that we can bless others. For it's in Jesus' name that we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining in this morning. Take care and God bless, and I'll see you again tomorrow morning. Bye for now.